This one Kubernetes troubleshooting document has helped many of my DevOps and SRE engineers to land their dream job. Now this is going to be yours in the next few minutes. Watch the video till the end. And if you need this kind of troubleshooting scenarios, questions which have been gathered from Amazon, Walmart, Paytm, SAP, Informatica and many other top product based companies, comment down Kubernetes and like the video. I'll be sharing the link in the next few seconds. Now let's get started what this troubleshooting document consists of. So so primarily if you see this is the first page which is also seen on the screen so i'll tell you like step by step process for anyone to follow if a question is asked what are the steps that you need to perform what are the scenarios that you need to cover and tell in the interview very very important so if you are able to see this is our stop start point and whenever a troubleshooting scenario is given you need to understand that kubectl get pods is the first and the foremost command that you will hit to check whether the pods are in the running state or not so if you see here and the same goes uh, in the same diagram uh, because anyways you will be liking the video and commenting down kubernetes so you are going to get this one but before that let me tell you if the pod is in pending state no yes if the pod is in pending state yes check the cluster capacity kubectl describe pod pod name is the cluster full no are you hitting the resource quota limits no are you mounting a pending persistent volume claim no is the pod assigned to the node no, there is an issue with the scheduler. So if you are able to see for every flow which is shown in this page, a yes or no diagram is given. If you are able to see is the is there any pod pending? No. Are the pod running? No. Yes. If the pod is not running, then check the log kubectl logs pod name. Very interesting, right? So what you have to do is simply take this document from my end and attach it on your wall so that whenever you are preparing for any kind of interview, this stays in your head. So very, very important. Not only this, if you see here, it is telling for every error, what is the solution? This flow diagram can give you. For example, kubectl get pods hyphen o wide, kubectl describe pod, kubectl logs pod, kubectl describe pod, kubectl logs pod name previous, kubectl describe pod pod name, kubectl port forward pod name, port number and the pod port. So see every troubleshooting scenario if you are able to see is given here. Suppose the pods are running correctly or not, uh, you might see in a different way but once I'm sharing this document, it will really, really help you. kubectl describe. So if you are able to see service, uh, uh, service uh, troubleshooting, kubectl describe service, service name. Uh, can you see a list of endpoints? Yes, then kubectl port forward. No, is the selector matching the right label and pod? Because you are aware manifest.yaml file, how the uh, selectors and the YAML files are written. So everything is given in this document. You just need to make sure you are receiving this document. So this complete flow diagram states many, many more things. So if you see here, whatever the, uh, the flow chart has been given with the yellow color, black color and a light green color, states that yes these are the troubleshooting steps uh, which you need to do so if i have to show you right the issue is with node lifecycle controller yes no consult stack overflow no yes the issue is likely to be mounting volumes fix uh, crashing app fix the docker file fix the liveness probe these all are real time issues guys so whenever you are sitting in the interview just have this on the brain kr agar ek mein galti ho raha usko kaise rectify kare now going on to the second page which is obviously a page uh, which states you like uh, when you wish to deploy a Kubernetes, uh, you usually define three components, very, very important. And uh, yes, obviously you are going to get uh, these all things uh, in your uh, document. So let me uh, show you that also. But uh, I think uh, the papers are here and there, not a worry. So a deployment in a service and an ingress, which are very, very important. So whenever you are uh, doing any kind of uh, any kind of troubleshooting activities, deployment, service and ingress plays a vital role. So these three components you should be aware. Now going ahead, uh, we will also see a quick, quick recap on how the things are there. So let's try to build something. So whenever you see a Kubernetes YAML file is designed, there are four certain things which I tell to all my students. Uh, that is API version, kind, metadata and spec, right? So if you are able to see API version, uh, the kind, uh, the metadata, and the spec very very important so whenever you are designing any kind of uh, let's say kubernetes file uh, you just blindly remember yeah this this is the page you just blindly remember uh, these four components and all the kubernetes uh, components or the resources will be in this format only so if you see here kind i'm going with the deployment so deployment spec uh, will be matching accordingly so as you are aware the containers are the brother of the kubernetes so in terms of containers you need to give the container name you need to give the image name you need to give the container port and some kind of selectors which is obviously helping your uh, 
uh, your service to talk with your deployment. So very, very important, right? So once you are done with this creation, there is a kind service uh, which will tell you how the things should be, right? Uh, so once you create the kind service, uh, the deployment pod and the service pod should be integrated with the help of selectors so that they talk with each other. Now, the third primary component is your ingress. So I have created ingress also for you. Uh, so you can see here ingress generally has uh, the components like rules. Uh, so HTTP, HTTPS, what is a backend service? So if you see here backend is my service. So this ingress uh, will route to my service and this my service routes the traffic to your uh, pod. So very interesting, right? So all the things are here only. Uh, make sure you are getting this document like the video if you are understanding some things uh, whatever i am telling so when you are watching this have this document side by side so that uh, you also understand ki are, uh, what are the things that uh, you have to do it okay so very very uh, important so let's go to the next point uh, whenever uh, there is an issue with your connecting deployment and the service how do you uh, connect your deployment and the service and and just see your api version kind metadata spec right and uh, selectors uh, all those things are given so you see here the service selector should match at least one pod label the container port should be defined the target port should be defined the service port can be any kind of number so these all things plays a vital role so if i if i little bit go down uh, you will also see uh, some troubleshooting ac activities. So if you see here kubectl uh, get pods show labels uh, which will tell you like what are the uh, pods that are there with this uh, all the uh, labels that are running with. So if you see here my deployment uh, any name my deployment. So there are some two pods uh, which are running in, in the status. Okay. So if you see here come down come down come down or if you have pod belonging to several applications. So where any name is equal to my app is the label any name my app. So if you are able to see the label right which we have specified in the uh, so I can show you uh, probably in the yeah so if you see here select our any name okay label my app still having issues check the port forward kubectl port forward service bash name port number you check and uh, make sure your uh, pods are up and running now if i little bit come down connecting service and ingress again how do you connect the service and the ingress uh, as i have told you the ingress first then the service then the pod which is again a kind of deployment okay so a little bit come down come down so if you see here uh, these are uh, very important. So if you see here, kubectl get pods hyphen hyphen all namespace. So in this command, you are going to get all the pod related data which are running in the particular namespace. So let's see, like what are the uh, what are the pods that are running in the system? Uh, so kube system uh, core DNS is the pod which is running. Uh, you are already aware, like what uh, the core DNS does. Uh, it is the master node component uh, which manages all the networking ac component activities. Uh, HCD database. Again, Cube API server, again, the master node component, Cube controller, control manager, again, a master node component, Cube proxy. Uh, this is, uh, uh, you can understand, like it has the features in master node and the worker node also. Uh, scheduler, again, the master node, Nginx ingress, which we have installed as of now, an important node, Nginx is going to get degraded. Uh, in the coming days, so probably we have to find out the other alternatives, but meanwhile, you can prepare uh, with this. Kubectl describe pod. The pod name is Nginx Ingress Controller with the pod ID uh, and namespace, grep ports, all these ports, uh, this uh, ingress is taken care of. So you will be able to see uh, how the port forwarding is done, how the things are matched. So everything is written in this document. You just need to go over this document and make sure how the troubleshooting scenarios can help you in real time to land a dream job. So if we go ahead, uh, you can see like recap on the ports, the service selector should match the label of the pod, the service target port should match the container port, the service port can be uh, having the multiple services associated with it, the service dot port of the ingress should match the port number in the service. So very important like the five steps, how you can ma make uh, all these components running. So if I still come down, let's try to understand three steps to troubleshoot the Kubernetes deployment. Uh, very important, as I have told you, all the commands which you see here, kubectl get pods, very basic command, uh, which is going to help you in real time, like how do you uh, troubleshoot the scenario. And yes, obviously, uh, those who are looking for this document, entire document, you can comment down Kubernetes and I will be giving you the driving and make sure uh, you are liking the video because uh, this is how the real time troubleshooting works. kubectl get pods, kubectl logs pod name, kubectl describe pod name, kubectl get get pod name, kubectl exec hyphen it pod name bash, 
uh, which is useful to log inside the container and check the status of the container. Common pod errors, again, one of the major aspect uh, where the people in the interview ask, uh, like image pullback, uh, resource uh, limits uh, crossed, uh, your uh, image never pulled, uh, registry unavailable, invalid image name, error pull image, crash loopback, <coughs> run container error, kill container error, verify non-root uh, error, run init container. These all are the container states uh, which are going to help you uh, in understanding like how the things are set up in the Kubernetes. And for each of the error, if you are able to see, right, image pullback, uh, why this error is made, what are the things that uh, this particular uh, data points is helping you, everything is there. Uh, I know like it might be, uh, you might be thinking like Praveen is seeing and telling, but uh, you can understand like I cannot reverse the screen, right? Uh, but you just try to understand like in real time, all the scenarios are covered, whichever you are uh, seeing on the screen. Uh, so what are you waiting for? Uh, learn well, 2026 is coming. Make sure you are upgrading yourself and upscaling yourself. And if you if you need any kind of help, uh, make sure you, you check the description, batch 14, we are starting soon. Uh, so those who are interested, you can enroll for the batch 14, all the projects, all the troubleshooting scenarios may be Linux troubleshooting, Kubernetes troubleshooting, or Docker troubleshooting, or Jenkins, any kind of troubleshootings, activities, interview questions, mock interviews, resume reviews, all of the things I will be taking care of. Uh, so I hope you have liked this video. Understanding about the uh, entire architecture is very, very important. So this part uh, is really uh, important for you on tackling the scenarios that are going to come in the interview. So make sure you are watching the channel and please do subscribe and share it with your friends. This is Praveen signing off from this video. Meet you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.